The world's oceans are a stage for a silent, powerful ballet of warships. Among them dance the frigates, the versatile middleweights of naval power. Today, we'll be comparing two such graceful giants, the Indian Navy's Talwar class and the People's Liberation Army. Navy's Type 054A, both are potent, modern, and reflect their respective nation's maritime ambitions. The Talwar class, born from a Russo-Indian collaboration, displaces around 4,000 tons and boasts a top speed exceeding 30 knots. These ships are sleek, powerful, and represent India's commitment to safeguarding its vast coastline and interests in the Indian Ocean. On the other side of the ring, we have the Type 054A. This Chinese-designed frigate is slightly larger, displacing around 4,200 tons, and is just as swift as its Indian counterpart. The Type 054A is a testament to China's rapidly modernizing navy and its growing assertiveness in the region. These two classes of frigates, though separated by geography and allegiance, share a common purpose, to protect their nation's interests and project power at sea. Their differences, however, make for a fascinating comparison. Let's dive deeper into the specifics, shall we? When it comes to offensive punch, both frigates pack a serious wallop. The Talwar class boasts a formidable array of weaponry, including the supersonic BrahMos anti-ship cruise missile. This beast can deliver a devastating blow to enemy ships from hundreds of kilometers away. Add to that a 100mm main gun, torpedoes, and a close-in weapon system for last-ditch defense, and you have a ship ready for a good scrap. The Type 054A, while lacking the BrahMos's sheer speed, counters with the YJ-83 anti-ship missile. This subsonic missile is no slouch, carrying a hefty warhead and boasting a decent range. The Chinese frigate also fields a 76mm main gun, torpedoes, and a close-in weapon system similar to the Talwar's. Defensively, both ships are well equipped. The Talwa class relies on the Still one medium-range surface-to-air missile system for air defense. This system, with its impressive range and accuracy, provides a solid protective umbrella against aerial threats. The Type 054A counters with the HQ-16 medium-range air defense system, also known as the LI-60. It may not be as sophisticated as the Still one but it's still a capable system designed to keep enemy aircraft at bay. Both frigates feature decoys and electronic countermeasures to thwart incoming missiles. They also have robust fire suppression systems to contain damage and keep the ship fighting fit. In a nutshell, these frigates are no sitting ducks. They are floating fortresses armed to the teeth and ready to defend themselves against a variety of threats. No warship is complete without a keen set of eyes and ears. The Talwar class boasts the frigate M2EM three-dimensional air search radar. This system provides long-range detection and tracking of aerial targets, giving the crew ample time to react to incoming threats. For surface targets, the Talwar relies on the MR-90 Auric radar, which can detect ships and other surface objects at considerable distances. The Type 054A utilizes the Type 382 three-dimensional air search radar. This radar, while not as advanced as the frigate, offers decent performance and allows the ship to keep an eye on the skies. Surface search is handled by the Type 364 radar, providing the Type 054A with a comprehensive picture of its surroundings. Propulsion is another key aspect of a frigate's performance. The Talwar class utilizes a combined diesel and gas turbine, Kodog, system. This setup allows for efficient cruising at lower speeds using the diesel engines, while the gas turbines kick in for high-speed dashes when needed. This flexibility makes the Talwa a versatile platform, capable of sustained operations and rapid response. The Type 054A opts for a combined diesel or gas, Kodog system. While not as powerful as the Talwa's Kodog setup, the Chinese frigate system provides a good balance of speed and fuel efficiency. The Type 054A might not be the fastest ship in the race, but it can certainly hold its own and cover vast distances without breaking a sweat. Modern warships are not just about brute force, they are also about brains. The Talwa class is equipped with the Trebovanie M combat management system. This sophisticated system integrates all the ship's sensors and weapons, providing the crew with a unified tactical picture and allowing them to make quick informed decisions in the heat of battle. The Type 054A, in turn, relies on the ZKJ-4B-6 combat management system. 
Although it may not be as advanced as the Trebovania M, it still offers a high level of automation and integration. It allows the Type 054A to effectively coordinate its defenses, analyze threats and deploy its weapons with precision. Electronic warfare is another crucial domain in modern naval combat. The Talwar class employs the Bell Ajanta Electronic Warfare Suite. This system provides a range of capabilities, including electronic support measures to detect enemy radar emissions and electronic countermeasures to jam or deceive enemy sensors. In essence, the Ajanta helps the Talwar to see without being seen and to confuse enemy systems. So, how do these two frigates stack up against each other? The Talwar class stands out with its potent BrahMos anti-ship missiles and the sophisticated Still-1 air defense system. Its advanced combat management system and electronic warfare suite give it an edge in situational awareness and electronic combat. However, its reliance on Russian technology for key systems could pose a potential vulnerability in terms of maintenance and spare parts. The Type 054A might not have the same firepower as the Talwar, but its YJ-83 missiles are still a force to be reckoned with. Its HQ-16 air defense system, while not as advanced as the Still-1, provides adequate protection against aerial threats. The Type 054A's biggest advantage lies in its indigenous design and construction, giving China greater control over its production and maintenance. Ultimately, the better frigate depends on the specific mission and operational context. The Talwar's superior firepower and sensors might give it an edge in a high-intensity conflict, while the Type 054A's self-reliance and cost-effectiveness could be advantageous in a prolonged standoff or a lower-intensity scenario. Both frigates are capable platforms, reflecting the growing naval capabilities of their respective nations. In the grand arena of naval power, the Talwar class and the Type 054A frigates stand as testaments to the technological prowess and maritime ambitions of India and China, respectively. These two classes of warships, though separated by geography and allegiance, represent the cutting edge of modern frigate design. They are versatile, powerful, and equipped to handle a wide range of missions, from safeguarding sea lanes to projecting power in distant waters. While the Talwar class boasts superior firepower and more advanced sensors, the Type 054A counters with its indigenous design and cost-effectiveness. Ultimately, the better frigate depends on the specific operational context and the strategic goals of the nation wielding it. One thing is certain, both the Talwar and the Type 054A are formidable warships, and their presence in the world's oceans is a testament to the evolving balance of naval power in the 21st century.